Hey, what's up everybody? It's Nefflarium with another Familiars video, this time found in Holiday Invasion. This invasion comes around once a year around Christmas time, but occasionally it's run during the summer, just not every year. You do unlock Invasion in Tier 3, but that does not mean you'll have access to every one of these familiars as their component familiars are found throughout the entire game. If you missed my other videos, check them out as those familiars will carry you through this game as well. Even if you don't have access to all the parts, it's a good idea to run your invasion for the schematics and fusion materials, which are not affected by item find. So without further ado, let's hop in and see what we have. First up is Chelf, an epic DPS at 11.25% in power and 11.25% dual strike. A stat spread of 33, 20, 33 means they're really not bad. But their skills, eh, they leave a lot to be desired. They only attack closest or weakest one at a time. But they are fairly cheap to make, so if you don't have a DPS option, this could get you a little bit going on in the beginning. Up next is Holly Mints with 22.5% increased damage, with, which also affects heals. A stat spread of 44, 17, 24 means they are going to hit hard, but not super often. They have a spread heal at 1 SP and an attack team at 2 SP. This is a cheap low level healer you can make if you don't have other options. Up next is Ginger Mick, 15% damage bonus and 15% speed bonus, and a stat spread of 53, 10, 32 means they're a glass cannon. They're not going to hit super often, and they can't get hit very often, but when they hit, it's strong. They have a spread heal at 2 SP and an attack team at 2 SP. I may sound excited, but I'm really not. This, this familiar is stupid expensive to make. They need a Mimsy, that Raid 2 Goblin. They're not worth it unless you're a collector. The next familiar is Rudolphin. 30% speed and then a stat spread of 41, 13, 41 means they have the same problem as Ginger Mick and that they just can't really get hit. They do have attack closest 3 at 1 SP and a spread heal also at 1 SP. But they take 5 Driffins to make. This is super expensive for no real reason. 5 raid familiars? Only fuse Rudolphin if you happen to have spares. Up next is Scrooge. 30% crit chance and 15% increased damage. A stat spread of 43, 19, 33 means they have a pretty good stat spread, honestly, even into late game. They do have attack two closest at 1 SP, but also a lot of recoil, which is strange for a DPS, but they got it if you want to use it, I guess. But again, just like Rudolphin, it takes five raid familiars to make. Crazy expensive, only make them if you happen to have a bunch running that raid a lot. Next we have Xmas, <laughs> it's Christmas, built in 30% in power, stat spread of 38, 22, 35 is a great stat spread, a heal target at 2 SP, damage target at 2 SP, and that's about it, and as is usual, 5 raid familiars to make. Again. Oof. But then we get to Kringle, a 30% crit chance and 15% dual strike, a stat spread of 39, 19, 37, great stat spread, great bonuses, they have damage closest 2 at 1 SP and a spread heal at 1 SP and a damage all at 2 SP. They take 5 epics to make, but these, this epic Kovalg can be found in dungeons. This is probably the best familiar that's in the invasion and one of the cheaper ones to make, definitely worth looking at. Those are the familiars that I wanted to mention from the holiday invasion. There are a lot of very expensive options in here, and in my opinion, only Kringle even makes sense to look at. He does have a decent stat spread, and he can be made fairly early in the game if you have the fusion materials. I also want to shout out Dungeon Mask for helping me get pictures of these familiars. I couldn't have made the video without them. Is there a familiar you think I skipped over that should have been included? Which ones are your favorites? Let me know in those comments down below, and good luck on your grind for the best familiars. You can also join my Discord that's linked on my profile to be eligible for prizes, catch my newest videos, and chat with other gamers interested in the same games as you. As always, if you like this video, like it. If you dislike it, dislike it. If you want more, hit the subscribe button, and I'll see you in the next video.